We are now at Ponteze, the result of the planning and requalification of the banks of the rivers Tagus and Zezere. In the past, this place was staged to a great movement of men, merchandise and vessels. Wood, wool from the Berabasha, cork, straw and cereals from the Alentejo, several agricultural products such as olive oil, wine and other merchandise that supply the capital of the kingdom, all passed through this location. The goods coming in were salt, fertilizers, handicraft products and news from around the world that had spread across Lisbon. This wonderful agitation made Constancia one of the main ports in the region. Imagine the excitement, 120 ships in town in the 16th century. However, the decrease, or rather the total loss of importance, of the traditional activities linked to the rivers brought about the gradual abandonment of the banks. The floods of the 1970s and 80s worsened the situation, leaving the banks looking desolate in contrast with the beauty of the town. So, in 1995, a transformation took place making good use of the space while bearing in mind the connection of the town with the rivers and the future enjoyment of the beauty and memory of this place. Take the time to make the most of what this place has to offer. Street cafes, a bar, a picnic area, playing fields, children's park, amphitheater, gardens and a campsite for those wishing to spend the night here. If we go down the steps, we'll find the panel of Neptune, god of the sea and navigation among the Romans. Officially inaugurated in 1997, this panel not only symbolizes the sea and navigation, water and travels, the sailors and their work on board, but also the tradition of the classical culture presented in the verses of Camões. Down in the farthest depths of the deep, lofty caverns whither the sea withdraws, and whence at the challenge of the raging winds it lashes its waves into fury and sends them forth, there Neptune dwelt in the company of the blithe Nereids and other deities of the sea. It is also here in Ponteza that on the 10th of June, the day of Camões, Portugal and the Portuguese communities, every year the Pomonas Camunianas are celebrated. These are medieval festivals in homage to Camões. Pomona, the divinity responsible for the blooming of plants and the growth of fruit, was a Greek and Roman goddess regularly evoked by Camões in his work. In Constancia on this date we can easily find some of the fruit and flowers in the 16th century market held here in memory of the poet's period. The Antiques Fair and the variety of shows are some of the events also held on this day. There was a castle here many years ago. Only the remains of its barbican can be seen today. When Constancia was conquered from the Arabs by Gonzalo Menge de Maye in 1150, its old castle was already derelict. It was rebuilt two years later by order of Don Miguel Page, Grand Master of the Knights Templar. The castle played an important economic and military role in the town, which was a center for traffic and the trade of merchandise from a number of different sources. Furthermore, the castle was part of the defensive line of the Tagus. <laughs> <laughs> 